guys. How y'all doing? Oh, what's up, you guys? It's your girl, baby, back again. And this is not pop culture news just yet, but I did want to bring this to y'all real quick because the other day on Apple TV, I was watching videos, and I haven't watched videos since like the box in 2000 and you know, two or three or whatever. And I think the last video I ever saw on the box ended up being like DMX and all of them doing the I Miss You tribute to Aaliyah. Uh, that video, which is dope, is my favorite video. But uh, I haven't really watched videos since then. We used to record it on the VHS. We used to have a VCR. Girl, it was the business. Um, but anyways, I was watching videos on Apple Music and I saw the Barbie in, uh, I'm sorry, the Barbie World video with uh, Aqua, Nicki Minaj, and my girl Ice Spice. And I was like, I love this. I really enjoyed that video. I even liked Ice Spice's verses and all that kind of stuff. And it made me think about all these videos, these interviews that I've been seeing and posted on like Instagram and stuff where people are saying like, I Spice is not going to make it and blah, blah, blah. And there's a bunch of grown men saying this. And I was like, why wouldn't she make it? Why wouldn't she like find success? First of all, having a duet with Nicki Minaj is already success, sus. And she has one with uh, Taylor Swift. So I was just kind of like, I don't know why these people are trying to like steal her thunder, but I do get the sense that a lot of us out here, like we face issues like that all the time. It don't matter where you work at, sis. Like I used to work at uh, American Express, just doing like my thug dizzle when I worked in banking and I was a manager over the sales team. I had people talking about what I couldn't do and what I wasn't going to do, even though I was making moves, changing policy and procedure. And so I was like, I wonder why these grown ass men are trying to steal her confidence and steal her joy. And so it made me really think about like the industry and the industry that we are a part of, like, you know, it's a whole bunch of like really older men out there that are dominating the talk space of hip hop. And it made me wonder, like, when are there going to be women that dominate this space? When is there going to be women with like a valid opinion and point of view? Now, don't get me to lying and acting like Ice Spice's verse was like the dopest on the track because you really could barely hear her. She seems like she's very shy behind the mic. But being shy behind the mic is something that's temporary if she keeps working at it. But why would she keep working at it if everybody's trying to steal her confidence? And so here I am, okay, making making my voice known. Uh, even like, um, you know, even like platforms that need to be more so embracing like hip hop it's just so negative all of a sudden and it made me wonder like is social media just a negative construct or is it just that most of the negativity is just being propelled to the front the front and center right like when will we begin to embrace everybody as one because yeah, maybe maybe old man Ebro doesn't fucking like Ice Spice, but there is always a Northwest, and Northwest clearly loves her some Ice Spice. There's a Nicki Minaj, and Nicki Minaj clearly enjoys Ice Spice. There's Kim Kardashian, and Kim Kardashian clearly likes Ice Spice. And so, yeah, like maybe she won't be the, the, the strongest lyricist out there, but there's like a multitude of different avenues that hip hop can lead you to. And so it made me think about me and my own career too, because one of the reasons why I waited until I was 37 years old to become like a new artist in hip hop and R&B and pop was because of that particular fear. Like, are people going to think that I'm dope? Like, I know I'm dope, but will people try to like... um like silence my voice. That was a major concern for me, especially given that like back in them days, the bad old days, back when um, it was a very male dominated industry, even if it was like the dustiest producer around, like they would record your vocals, they would keep your tracks on their MIDI files or just whatever. And then they wouldn't turn over your vocals unless it was like, oh, let's go on a date or let's do whatever. Like, it was a lot of that going around. It never personally happened to me because I'd shoot your ass. If you if you if you hid my tracks from me, nigga, I'd steal your, your laptop. I would I would make sure I got my tracks out your ass one way or another. And so I never really worked with like male producers because of that, because I was so afraid of like all of the negative backlash that I was just seeing in the industry. 
you tell a nigga you can sing and all of a sudden he's a producer and all of a sudden he wants you to come over and all of a sudden girl it's just too much work to try and navigate the misogyny that is hip-hop or the recording industry because te technically if you look at lady gaga she said her first uh producer sexually assaulted her and got her pregnant and she ended up having to have an abortion with his child and it was like you know when they go low we go high but it's almost like well yes you gotta go high in that situation you can't let like negativity pull you down but how do you not let like rape pull you down how do you not let something like that like really um destroy how you feel about yourself when it pertains to what you're putting out there uh, musically like it's almost impossible it's literally almost impossible um and then also of course with lotto like girl like mulatto is a, a young girl anyway she's like what 21 22 and even though she's 21 22 she's putting out the records that she's putting out and i like mulatto i think that her music is dope uh but she even talks about how <laughs> rappers are trying to like get coochie out of her for uh for a feature and it's like nigga this song wouldn't be what it is if i wasn't on it in the first place but that goes to show why there are so many totally male dominated singles and then there's going to be a totally female dominated singles like you rarely see outside of like you know uh re or nikki on like male tracks i mean of course beyonce but beyonce is queen she's queen mother but you got all these like really really few and far between like female male tracks that are really going anywhere because of the fact that niggas is just wild like nigga you made one record and now you're on your high horse and not that this platform is to bring niggas up off their high horse but it is to say that females don't need no feature anymore like at the end of the day like we are the prize we are the prize female rappers female lyricists female uh, artists we are the prize like and so I want to of course applaud all of my female artists out there but I also want to bring it to the forefront for all you guys out there that are wanting to get into music you guys are wanting to like test the waters or whatever but you're too afraid because I don't know Kodak Black asked you to suck his dick for a fucking feature and so now you're afraid to really get out there because you don't want to suck his penis you just don't want to do that and so you know it's all about like self-love and using your own self-love to get you to the place where you you are going to go to the next level or to the next episode or to the next whatever. And so when I personally began cutting records, Uzi, Uzi Extendo, Dame Dash, I got Popstar. I've got another song coming out on Monday. It's called Lonely. Uh, when I first started like really, really jumping out there to do that, girl, like I just recorded my own self. I invested in my own self. I bought a Yeti. I bought a laptop. And I just went out there and I started to like write my music or pull up all my old music that I've been written for the last 10, 20 years. And you know what? I feel just as fulfilled as if I was on a, a track with a nigga that wanted some coochie. I feel more fulfilled, actually. And you will, too. So start today. I told that little papa those. Oops, sis. I sure did. I toes it up. Like, I, I, I fucked that papa those deep deeply i mean i did her right i licked her i stuck her i i definitely definitely pleased her or she pleased me 